In today's video, I'm breaking down the top three ways Proton Pass keeps hackers out of your accounts and why this privacy first password manager might be one of the smartest tools you add to your digital setup. What's up, you guys? My name's Ashley, and let's be honest, remembering passwords is very annoying, but reusing the same one across accounts, saving them in your notes app, or storing them in your browser, that's basically like leaving the front door to your online life wide open. And with data breaches and phishing scams on the rise, it's not a question of if your credentials will be exposed it's when. That's why I wanted to shine a spotlight on Proton Pass. It's built by the team behind Proton Mail, Proton VPN, and Proton Drive, the same group known for their strong stance on privacy and security. And unlike most password managers, Proton Pass isn't just about convenience. It's designed to actively defend your accounts, not just remember your logins. So here's how it works and why it's different. So first off, what is Proton Pass? Proton Pass is a secure password manager that helps you store and autofill your logins, generate strong passwords, and manage digital identities across all your devices. But what sets Proton Pass apart isn't just what it does, it's how it's built. Most password managers are owned by large corporations or venture backed tech firms. Proton is different. It's based in Switzerland outside of major surveillance alliances, it's open source, and it's backed by a nonprofit that's committed to privacy first tools, not ad revenue or user tracking. So while most password managers protect your data in theory, Proton Pass protects it in practice. And it's specifically designed to make your information useless to hackers. Even if your device gets stolen or if Proton ever got breached, let's break down the top three ways it does that. Number one is everything is end-to-end -end encrypted, not just passwords. That's the biggest differentiator and it's a game changer. With Proton Pass, everything is encrypted on your device before it ever touches their servers. That includes your usernames, website URLs, notes, and any metadata tied to your entries. So even if a hacker somehow accessed the Proton network or if someone gained physical access to your phone, all they'd see is unreadable code. Compare that to most other managers, which only encrypt the password field and leave everything else in plain text. That means even with a secure manager, someone could still see which sites you use, which usernames you rely on, or what notes you've saved. Proton doesn't allow that. Even Proton themselves can't decrypt your data. It's zero access by design. So if you're someone who stores sensitive logins, think bank accounts, crypto, wallets, medical records, or admin dashboards, this kind of full scoped encryption is a non-negotiable. Number two is secure sharing that doesn't leak your info. We all do it. You want to send your Netflix login to a sibling or give your assistant access to a company dashboard. Most people just text the password, copy it into Slack, or drop it into a Google Doc. Proton Pass gives you a more secure way to share credentials without ever exposing them in plain text. With Proton Pass, you can generate secure shared links and let someone access a login item without actually seeing your password. These links can be set to expire after a certain time and you can revoke access at any point. Everything is still encrypted. So even if someone intercepts the link, they can't decrypt the data without the proper keys, which only exist on your device and the recipients. For families, freelancers, or anyone working in teams, this is an underrated but powerful way to keep your control over your digital life. Number three is hide my email, aliases that block spam and phishing. This might be the most innovative feature built into Proton Pass, especially if you're tired of your inbox being flooded after signing up for one thing. With hide my email, Proton Pass lets you create unlimited email aliases that forward to your real inbox. So instead of handing out your actual email, you can generate a unique alias every time you sign up for a site or app. If that alias ever gets spammed, you just delete it. If that alias gets leaked in a breach, your real email stays untouched. This protects you in two key ways. First, it stops companies from selling or leaking your real email. Second, it helps prevent phishing attacks because if you're getting an email addressed to an alias you've never used or from a service you didn't register for, you immediately know something's off. It's almost like having a burner phone number for email and it works seamlessly across the Proton ecosystem. Bonus, autofill that handles two-factor authentication. Here's one more feature that makes a difference in day-to-day security. Proton Pass doesn't just autofill usernames and passwords. It can also autofill your two-factor authentication, one-time codes, like the ones from Google Authenticator. If you're someone who already uses two-factor authentication, which you should, you know how annoying it could be to open a separate app, copy the code, and rush to paste it before it expires. Proton Pass streamlines that process and makes it more likely that you'll actually see 2FA regularly, which is still one of the best ways to block account takeovers. It's a small detail, but it makes a big impact. Real world scenario, what if you're hacked? 
hacked. Let's just say your email gets hacked, not because of Proton Pass, but because of a phishing email you clicked months ago. Most people would panic and start changing their passwords one by one. If you're using a browser-based password manager or reuse the same few passwords across services, hackers can move fast, which locks you out of your account before you even realize what's happening. With Proton Pass, each login has a unique, randomly generated password, and your entire vault is encrypted with zero knowledge architecture. That means even if someone gets your email, they need your Proton Pass master password password and device-based encryption keys to get anywhere near your accounts. And if you use hide my email, they wouldn't even know which services you're subscribed to. Proton Pass is built not just to help you manage credentials, but to make it nearly impossible for hackers to weaponize a single breach against you. Okay, so how to get started. If you want to check out Proton Pass, make sure you use our exclusive link in the description below. You can get up to 50% off using our link and you also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. They do have a couple of different options in terms of how to pay. So you can do a monthly, which is $4.99 per month. They have a yearly, which you can save 50% off, which comes to just $2.49 per month. Again, paid annually. And then they have a pass family plan. So this is $4.99 per month, saving that 29% off. And that's if you pay yearly. Again, they have a 30-day money back guarantee. So if you are not in love with it before that is up, you can go ahead and get your money back. So the family benefits, just so you're aware, you get six user accounts, admin panel to manage users and subscriptions, works from all devices, advanced alias features, secure vault, two-factor authentication, alerts, passkeys, secure end-to-end encryption. This is the one-person Proton account. So again, if you want to check them out, I've left that link down below. So Proton Pass has a lot of advantages. The biggest is that it's built with privacy in mind from the start, not bolted on later as a marketing feature. It's fully open source, audited, and includes complete end-to-end encryption for all stored data, not just passwords. The interface is simple and lightweight, and the added tools like hide my email and secure sharing give it a real edge. It's also developed by the same team behind Proton Mail and Proton VPN, which adds a level of trust and continuity, but there are some downsides. So Proton Pass is still relatively new. So there are a few things that more mature managers like 1Password offer that it doesn't yet, such as team password vaults or detailed permission controls. And while the app is clean, there aren't as many customization options for organizing your vault, like color coding or adding icons, though that may not be a priority if your main focus is security. Overall, the pros far outweigh the cons, especially if you want something simple, secure, and grounded in real privacy standards. So who should use Proton Pass? Proton Pass is ideal for anyone who values privacy, wants something easy to use, and doesn't want to rely on big tech-owned password managers. It's perfect for solo users, digital nomads, freelancers, creators, or even small teams who already use Proton tools. So if you're tired of remembering logins, worried about phishing, or just want more control over your digital identity, this is a clean and secure way to do it. Even if you already use another manager, Proton Pass is worth testing out for comparison. I know there are so many password managers out there, but what's really important is that you find one that works for you and makes you feel protected protected in the data world. But I really do like Proton Pass and I like that it integrates with all of their other tools seamlessly. Again, that link is down below if you want to check them out. That wraps up this video. Again, the link is down below if you want to check it out. This channel is dedicated to helping you protect your data, understand your tools, and stay secure without making things complicated. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and leave any comments or questions below. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.